Hi, this lesson here is about angle addition. First, it's important to know exactly what an angle is. It's a figure formed by two non-collinear rays that have a common endpoint called the vertex. So what they're saying is just two rays that meet that are not along the same line. And here is where the two rays meet at the vertex or point A. Here's one side, AB, which is a ray, and the other side, AC, which is also a ray. We use the vertex first to name our sides or rays, AB and AC. The ray symbol is an arrow going to the right. Before using the angle addition postulate, we need to know exactly how to name an angle. You could use one letter, one number, or three letters to name an angle. When using three letters, the vertex is the middle letter. The first way is by saying angle A. If you don't have a degree symbol, you can assume that this is actually the name of the angle, angle one. If we use three letters, we could go in either direction as long as the vertex is in the middle. One way would be angle BAC, where point A, the vertex is in the middle, and we could go in the opposite direction, angle CAB, where again, the vertex is in the middle. We'll try naming angles one more time before we go to the angle addition. Okay, the vertex is point Z, which is used in the middle or used just to name the angle. Angle Z is one way. There's no degree symbol, plus this doesn't look like three degrees to me, so it's angle three. You can say this is angle NZQ or angle QZN, as long as your vertex, Z, is in the middle. The angle addition postulate. If R is in the interior of angle P, Q, S, okay, so that means that R is inside. Then notice how Q is the middle letter of all three of these angles. P, Q, R, that's one small angle, and RQS, that's another small angle. So the two measures of the small angles are equal when added together to the measure of the large angle, the whole angle. So this is a part, this is another part, and PQS is the whole, okay? So here we go. If we broke that angle into its two parts, we would have PQR and RQS. This is one part, this is the other part. And if we add what this is and what this is, we'll get what PQS is. So we'll look one more time at how we split this angle into two parts that could be added together to get the whole thing. Okay, if the angle measure of angle MNP is 23 degrees and the measure of angle PNQ is 39 degrees, find the measure of angle MNQ. So we were given two parts and we're finding the whole. Okay. Let's use the angle addition postulate. The measure of angle MNP plus the measure of angle PNQ is the measure of angle MNQ. Notice how N, the vertex, is the middle letter of all three of the angles because it's the vertex of all three of the angles. MNP is 23. 
and PNQ is 39, and we don't know MNQ. So let's substitute, and we can combine like terms, the two constants, which add up to be 62. So we can just fill in this blank and say that the two parts added together make the whole, which is 62 degrees. If the measure of ABC, which is the whole this time given to us, it's 95 degrees, and the measure of DBC, which is one of the parts, that's 68 degrees, we need to find the measure of angle ABD. This is what we're trying to find. So again, using the angle addition postulate, the measure of angle ABD plus the measure of DBC is equal to the whole measure of angle ABC. So let's substitute. ABD is what we're trying to find. But DBC, we have as 68 degrees in both places, here and here, 68. And ABC, or the whole thing, is 95. All we need to do is subtract 68 from both sides to conclude that the measure of ABD is 27 degrees. So we can fill it in, 27. Notice how when we have a whole and a part, we need to subtract to find the other part. Okay, the measure of angle GFE is 144 degrees. And the measure of angle ZFE, that's 3x plus 31. So we're given a whole so far and a part. Angle the measure of angle GFZ is 38 degrees, and we need to find X. So, using the postulate, the measure of GFZ plus the measure of ZFE is equal to the whole thing, which is the measure of GFE. Let's substitute. GFZ is the bottom angle. 38 degrees. CFE is the top angle, 3x plus 31. And GFE is the whole angle, 144. We could combine like terms, which are the constants, and we get 69 degrees. So 3x plus 69 is 144. We need to subtract 69 from both sides to get x isolated. 3x is 75, and to undo the multiplication, we divide both sides by 3 and get that x is 25. That's all we had to do, so that problem's finished now. Number four, the measure of angle LMN is 135 degrees. The measure of angle LMV is 45x minus 1, and the measure of angle VMN is 23x. Okay, so we have the part plus the part is equal to the whole, or the top angle plus the bottom angle equals the big angle. Let's use the angle addition postulate. The measure of LMV plus the measure of VMN is equal to the measure of LMN, which we were told was 135. LMV is the top angle, 45x minus 1. VMN is the bottom angle, 23x. LMN is the big angle, 135. We could combine the variable terms by adding the variable coefficients. 45 and 23 give me 68. So 68x minus 1 is 135. I can add 1 to both sides to get the variable isolated. 68x is 136. Undo the multiplication by 68 
by dividing both sides by 68. I get x to be 2. That answers my first question. Now I need to find the measure of Vmn. Well, it's right here, 23 times whatever x was, and we just found x. So here we go. We could just rewrite this and place x, whatever its value is, and multiply it by 23. And we just found out it was 2. So 23 times 2 is 46. So the measure of Vmn is 46 degrees. This is the end of our angle addition lesson. Please watch this as many times as you need, take as many notes as you need, and please use this to do your assignment.